Hello! Welcome to Module 8 of Using Educational Technology in the English Language Classroom. I'm Carol Chappelle, and I'll be doing the lecture this week on technology integration. In the lecture this week, we'll start out by looking at what we have learned over the past seven modules of the course before moving forward to talk about how we can use what was learned. We'll look in particular at creating new materials and activities and building collaboration, and then take a look into the future. For those topics, we'll call on our technology expert, Dr. Craig Kessler from Ohio University. Finally, in the last part, we'll talk more specifically about your role in creating the future of English language learning with technology. Over the past seven modules, we've looked at a lot of resources for you as a teacher to gather materials and learn. We looked at materials on the American English website and the other U.S. government-sponsored websites that are developed and maintained just for you as English language teachers throughout the world. And then we also looked at other materials that are available for free on the Internet. We also looked at tools for you as a teacher to use to prepare activities. Tools, particularly those associated with Google, are useful for creating activities for students to use. We also looked at those tools that are particular to linguistics and the study of English, the corpus and the concordancers. We learned about the key elements of learning all aspects of English. We kind of broke up the project into multiple pieces to look at vocabulary, grammar, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. We also talked about strategies that students need for learning English. And we also talked about skills for putting it all together to help students learn English. In particular, you worked on a number of projects that would allow you to practice those skills in developing materials and activities for your students. Throughout each of the units, the connection between technology and language use was a very important issue that we started with, and we talked about the implications of the connections for English language teaching and learning in particular. We talked about how students can learn English through technology, either in the classroom or on their own. Technology clearly offers a lot of new ideas and possibilities for teaching and learning English. But how can we actually use what, we're, what we've learned? To make use of these ideas and skills, you also need to be able to integrate them into the curriculum and materials that you're using. In educational systems, introducing something new is difficult. Introducing something new is difficult almost anywhere. But in education, we find that there are particular challenges. There's an interesting article in the English Teaching Forum by Butler, Helsip, and Kurth. They describe a process for teachers to create new materials and activities. It's called a 10-step process for developing teaching units. Now, interestingly, these are teachers who are working outside of the USA at schools that are perhaps similar to some of the schools that you are working in. Butler, Heslop, and Kurth argue that overall, internationally, teachers have a greater need than ever to act as materials designers. Teachers need to make materials that are appropriate and engaging for their students, and help them learn English. They present a 10-step process that they use to innovate in their English teaching context. <music> 